Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. And today what I'm gonna show you is my cheeseburger mac and cheese. So let's get started. You'll brown a pound and a half of ground beef. And this is the Zaycon hamburger that I bought. Once it's all brown, you'll drain off any excess grease. So all I have is this little piece right here. And then I'll go drain a little bit. There's just very little oil. But I'll go drain it. This cheeseburger mac and cheese is so good. I have a pot of water boiling because I'm using the elbow noodles. So as soon as my water comes to a boil, I'll add my noodles in and cook it according to the directions on the package. Now that my ground beef is all brown, I'll turn my burner off and go drain off any excess grease. I'll place my ground beef back in my pan. I have my burner on low. I have three green onions that I diced. So I'll place the green onions in with my hamburger. So I have my burner on low. I have some oregano that I picked from my garden. So I'll dice it up real fine and then I'll add that in with the ground beef. That looks good. It's about two tablespoons. So now I'll add this in with my ground beef. So in goes the oregano. I'll mix it in. I'll turn my burner off. To my ground beef, onions, and oregano, Add in one tablespoon of chopped basil. I chopped it up. I'll mix it in. I'm just waiting on my noodles. So I'll just let the basil leave incorporate into the hamburger with the onions and the oregano. My burner is off. I have my oven on 350. In my casserole dish, I'll put my hamburger, my green onions, the basil, the oregano. I'm just waiting on my noodles. So I'll leave this in my casserole dish. My oven's at 350. My water has come to a boil, so I added a little bit of salt. And I'm using one pound of the elbow macaroni. Now I'll place it in my pan and I'll just cook it according to the directions on the package.
This recipe is really quick and easy. A few more minutes and then I'll be taking my noodles off my burner and draining them. My noodles are ready, so I'll turn my burner off. I'll go drain my noodles. I have cold water running. My strain is in my sink. Shake off any excess water. Now I'll place my elbows in with my ground beef. Now I'll mix in 14 ounces of the shredded cheddar cheese. You can add more if you want more or if you think you need more. Because I'll be placing slices of cheddar cheese on top. And this is what I call my cheeseburger mac and cheese. Now that I have the shredded cheddar cheese mixed in, I have slices of cheddar cheese that I'll place on top. I have about seven pieces. I'll just cut that one in half. I'll place some aluminum foil on top, place it in my oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the cheese is fully melted into the macaroni and hamburg. And this dish will be ready to serve and eat. So now I'll place the aluminum foil on top and into the oven it goes. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make my cheeseburger mac and cheese. It's super good. Give it a try. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.